Hello guys, my name is Pugfinger and welcome to my video on Cobalt AI. This is my first ever experience. I have set it up. It's simple enough. There is apparently also a way to install it in your computer, but we wouldn't be trying that until there is a simple enough way and for someone like me to try it. It would be able to run on my PC, but I'm afraid it, it's still too complicated for me. So here is a web version that can run through Google Drive and Google Collab. Let's take a look at this. Welcome to Collab Cobol, the unofficial easy way to run Cobalt in Collab. Until the official version has been migrated to run natively in Collab, you can use this Collab fork to start playing this beautiful game easy way. There are no settings, all you will need to do is click play and paste your Google Drive information to the prompt. You will get a TriCloud Free link, then you will need to open in another tab. Once this is open, wait for it to completely load and then refresh this 502 error page. You will then have a working Collab AI. It can easily take 5-10 minutes to load. Ok, this has been complicated so far, I only managed to make one mistake. The fact that someone like me managed to figure it out, that means you have good chances of figuring out figuring it out yourself. So let's take a look. Do not at any point close the Collab Browser tab or Google will automatically shut down your game. Very important to import this model. To do this, you will simply go to this page. And here you will be choosing a button, Import button. Uh, right now I have a folder and it's very important that once you import it, you do not import it into any subfolder. That's what I, the mistake I made, I created an extra subfolder for it and it didn't work. So I had to delete it and then just import it again into my Google Drive itself. Not in, into any subfolder within it. So there we go. This is simple enough instruction. Any stories you, you save are automatically backed up on your, Google, on your own Google Drive. Very interesting further play sessions. If you do not save a story, nothing is officially stored. But you never know what Google is up to for running it in Colab. For ultimate privacy, run Cobalt AI on your own PC. But as we said, we are not going to do it yet because it's a little too complicated and I'm worried I might screw it up. Pardon my French. Okay, here's the actual page where I opened it up. As you can see, there is a lot of text. This is the Cloudfray link, link that you will have to open separately and refresh to start the game once you go through with all the instructions. And let's go here. Let's just play Cobalt AI itself. Okay, I want you. Now we're going to play. Believe it or not, I have not tried anything yet, so let's start with something very simple and very basic. Okay, this is our initial input. You are Gary, a peasant in the village of Rask. You have an axe and an old horse. Your village is is on the edge of the forest. You live a short distance from the forest, and the village is surrounded by on all sides by thick, impenetrable forest. Well, 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 I understand now that you have been to the city of Ur and are now about to leave. Apparently it started a dialogue. Let's see what it, how it goes. About to leave for Rask. Perhaps we might discuss what it is that we are to do once we reach your village. Well then, as I say, the forest is thick. It is possible to ride through on horseback. We don't have any oxen though. Oxen is in donkeys. Not exactly, but... Though, so we, we will see how we manage this time. My own axe is in the pack. I just brought into the village. The horse is a beautiful bay pony, strong and healthy. It will do very nicely, but we will have to be extremely careful. After you have seen my axe, well, I guess very interesting. So, uh, this doesn't seem to be well trained onto anything specific and it manages to continue this story very well. I, I don't, I'm not recognizing any that it was trained on, let's say, fantasy or anything specific like that. Maybe it was trained on some interesting literature. I wouldn't know. Uh, I didn't have a good impression of Cobalt AI once I heard about it first, but now I see it is an interesting little plaything. Is it an alternative to AI Dungeon? Most definitely. It is definitely an interesting alternative. I can see a lot of potential with this game so far, and I just started it. There is a lot to, to play with, but from what I understand, it really needs a lot of context for it to work. So, let's give it a shot and put some info into world info and memory. Let's see if we manage to do it correctly. There, as you can see, is a memory field. Let's type something in. Okay, let's read through the world, I mean, memory that we put in. You are Gary, a peasant living, a peasant from the village of Rask. You are traveling with your peasant friend James. You are returning from the market after having bought a new axe and sold for your village. Unbeknownst to you, your village has been burned down and all the people are missing from the village. It might have been a dragon. And let's try to put in some very basic world info. 
Well, I just put in all my world info and then I pressed the random button and it suddenly disappeared. It does not feel good. I'm afraid this world info is a little too confusing for a person like me, with my average intellectual quotient, so I guess we are going to play without world info for now. Okay, let's just click enter a few more times. Then I will see to your gear, we will... Okay, let's try to edit something. I like this dialogue, but it's really not, not really on track. Finally, you arrive to your village, you look around. Let's see if Cobalt AI will be able to find out anything from the memory that I put in that the village has been burned down. Finally, you arrive to your village, you look around. The village with its buildings and vending seems abandoned. Their heaps of fire has recently been built. Yes, I do love to build a fire. But even if so, it doesn't seem to be burning. Perhaps the dragons, perhaps other far creatures have destroyed it to the stone and wood. Well, it seems to be a bit weaker than Griffin, but it still is a very interesting tool. Let's play it for a few more minutes and see if we can end it. On a good enough note. And maybe we will continue this adventure of Gary the peasant and his friend James. Village sits on a high ridge. All the houses are on the same side of the hill. Some are half buried in the forest in the forest and they are all in ruins and uh, in advanced state of decay. Have any of the people heard from any of the villagers? It does not seem to be a quiet day. It is, a just, it is just a day for rain and they did not expect to have to take care of the harvest today. They are all missing as far south as I can determine or as far north as a woman who lives in a small hut. I guess I guess it's interesting. Yeah, so it's an interesting little cliffhanger that we're going to end on today. And I think I will definitely come back to Cobalt AI and continue this story if it manages to be saved. I'm going to press save once again just to be sure. And that's it. We, th th this was our first impression of Cobalt AI. It seems to be very interesting. On a scale from 1 to 0, it's very interesting. Very interesting. I'm personally a little bit kind of happy to come back to it. But right now, we are going to take a break from it see what's going to happen so, and tell me guys if you manage to in, use your Google Drive account and follow the instructions easily enough so you can start playing it. Took me a little bit of, of the time and let's compare uh, how, how much time it can take you for, for it to load and for you to start playing. If you already played it please make sure to write down your, your opinions on it. As I said before I will be coming back to it giving it another, another play session so so we can go a bit further into details. So until that time, until next time, Sparkfinger out, bye for now.